In this video, we're gonna build an image gallery using React and Tailwind CSS. Hi everyone, my name is Darren. I'm a software developer and on this channel, I share insights that I've gained along the way as a dev and also updates on projects that I'm working on like this one right here. So I'm working with a buddy of mine and he currently has a website built in WordPress and we're gonna move that site over to a Next.js app. And part of the process, there was some parts of his website that I thought would make for some good uh, React components, one of those being this image gallery. So let me show you what that looks like and what we're gonna build in this video. So if we head over to his website, on the bottom of his website, he has this image gallery. As you scroll the images into view, they animate in and they have this overlay on top with some text and that sort of fades out and allows you to focus on the image um, as you hover over them. So I have a React project with a blank component ready to get started. Um, let's dive right in and I'll show you what it looks like right now. So we have this, um, this gallery page that we have open that's blank at the moment. And I've created this grid gallery component. The idea is we pass in this images prop, which is gonna be an array of URLs. In this case, we're using um, a bunch of the same URL to test. And then we have this grid gallery component, which is where we're gonna be working on primarily. And right now I just have a div that's used as a placeholder. Okay, so let's get started and see how it goes. Okay, so I've decided to use CSS Grid for this just because it made the most sense and it's gonna do a lot of the heavy lifting for us. Um, we could have gone with something like Flexbox or um, just like some custom div with percentage-based widths, but um, again, CSS Grid is gonna make this really easy. Um, this is my first time really using CSS Grid, but Tailwind makes it super easy. All we had to do was uh, add in grid on the container to let the number of columns and define a gap and it spaces things out accordingly for us. Next, we're gonna add in the overlay that's gonna sit on top of the image with the text. Okay, so we've gone ahead and added the overlay to the um, image. And what we have is essentially we have the image and then the overlay on top and then the text on top of that. And we're using Z index to make sure they align in the proper order. And then we use absolute positioning on top of that overlay so that it doesn't mess with the sizing of the image. Um, now let's go ahead and add the transition so that when we hover over these cards, um, we get that nice fade out on the overlay. On the parent container, all we had to do was define um, that we wanted transition. We give it a duration and an easing curve, and then we tell it on hover that we want to set the opacity to zero, and this is what the end result looks like. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is add in that nice animation when things come into view. So to do that, we're gonna use a package called React Visibility Sensor, and that's gonna detect when an item or an element in the DOM comes into view and then gives you something that you can hook into that allows you to essentially do something with that value. So what we want to do is when something comes into view, we want to animate it in. So let's go ahead and add that to our package. And that's just going to be an npm install react visibility sensor. And they have this nice example on their website, which we can use. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and copy this to start and then um, we'll see where we get.
Okay, so we got visibility sensor wired up on the project using the example from the README. And what we're using here is we're passing in a function into visibility sensor um, as children. And that gets back an is visible property. And we can use that to key off of whether or not we want to show any of the elements inside. In this case, it's grid gallery card, which we refactored into its own component just to make things a little bit easier. Um, we added the show prop. And then using that, we're just triggering the opacity right now. So just to demonstrate what's going on, right now all of these are in the viewport, so they show up right away. But you can see as we scroll down, the new ones fade into view. So as we scroll back up, they fade back in. So right now, um, it's not doing exactly what we want, and it's not using the exact animation we want, but we're almost there. You'll notice that as I scroll down, the old cards that were in view are disappearing. And when I scroll back up, they come back into focus. So that's not really what we want here. Um, if we go back to the example here, you see it, as things appear in the viewport, they just stay there. And that's what we're going for here. So to do that, we're gonna need to add a bit of state to our component to keep track of which cards have been shown and which ones haven't. And if they have been shown, then we wanna leave them on screen and um, if they haven't been shown, then well, we wanna show them. So let's go ahead and add that and see what that looks like. Okay, so um, we had to add a little bit more um, code to get this working. So the first thing we did is we added a piece of state, which is an array. That's the length of the images that get passed in. And that's just going to be an array of Booleans. And that's going to keep track of whether images have been shown or not. So by default, they're all going to start off to false. And then as this on change, um, function gets called, it's going to tell us whether or not it's visible. And then as we're looping over these images, we have the index that we can keep track of. We're passing that to um, this function that we have. We pass it the index and whether or not it's visible. And then we can update that state, whether or not um, that image is on screen. So we can keep track of that. And once it's visible, we keep track of that in the array. And then below, we can use that same array and pass it the index and that'll tell grid gallery card whether or not it should be shown on screen. And the end result looks like this. So you can see as we scroll down, the images come into view. Now the last thing we need to do is add the proper animation where it fades in from the bottom. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so with a little tweaking to visibility sensor, we added partial visibility and an offset, which means um, it allows the is visible flag to trigger if we can only see part of the card, which gives it a bit of a smoother animation in. And then below, um, all we had to do is animate the translate property on the image itself and um, the opacity. And now it does that neat fading in animation. And with that, we've gotten pretty close to the end result. Um, all with just using Tailwind classes, we didn't have to write one bit of CSS, which is awesome. Um, and like I said, it looks pretty close to the end result. So thanks for watching. I'll leave a link to the code in the description and I'll catch you in the next video.